Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and this is day 57 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on gratitude. So yay, I made it to day 57. So getting there, getting closer to my 100 goal, which I like. I love looking forward to the 100 goal. And I've been noticing and thinking a lot today that there's been changing a lot of my thought processes during this whole focusing on gratitude thing. It's helping me to see more of God's hand in my life. It's helping me to see how much I've been blessed. It's also helping me as I'm focusing on that to be more considerate of other people, to be grateful for the little things that they're trying to do instead of focusing on the things they do that irritate me. And not that I don't focus on things that irritate me, but I'm trying to learn that I don't have to hold on to just the things that irritate me. I can see the, the good things. I can see a different perspective. I can respond with kindness. I can respond differently to different situations. And I can realize that maybe people are put in my life for a reason to help me to process things, to deal with things, to see things from a different perspective, different point of view, or to be able to share what's going on in my life, to help them, to bless them, to lift them because they're struggling with things. And maybe I have a different perspective that is helpful to them. And I'm hoping that these videos, especially if they eventually get more popular at some point, that they actually do help people that are watching them. I hope that this is helpful to see that there is progress. It's maybe slow, but there's progress. There is a change of mind. There is a change of heart that can occur by letting God into your life, by focusing on gratitude, by seeing the good things, the positive things, by not letting the little things, the little irritating things become the focus. Because I've done that a lot and I can get caught up in that and just, just go the whole day, the whole week, the whole whatever on one little thing that irritates me from one person. And that's all I can see. I can't see the other beautiful things that I have in my life. I can't see how good my day has gone. I can't see anything else that's happened. I can't see the nice things that these people are doing. I just see the one thing that irritates me. And that's the one thing that just, and it, it stops me from being happy. It stops me from focusing on positive things. It stops me from enjoying my life. It stops me from wanting to progress, from wanting to get things done, because I just don't want to deal with the one little annoying thing that's really, okay, it's really annoying, but it's not the end of the world. There's lots of other things that I can do, but as long as I hold on to that, as long as I focus on that, it just gets bigger. I swear it just grows and grows, like it's be turning into this ginormous thing. But if I don't focus on it, or if I'm like, okay, that thing happened, and yes, it's annoying, but I have all these other things that I'm grateful for, and I can be happy, and I can still do all of this other stuff because that was just one thing in my day, and that's it. And it doesn't get to take over all of that space. And then eventually it just kind of shrinks, and it's like, okay, that was a little irritating. Or maybe it still is just, you know, really irritating, but I can learn to respond differently to it. And not that I respond differently every time to it, but I am learning and I am realizing that even though I feel frustrated and irritated, the words coming out of my mouth have been kind to other people. My responses have been nice, even though I haven't felt very nice. And I'm grateful for that because I know that is God blessing me. That is him helping me. Um, not say something that I will regret or feel worse about, that I don't have to keep spinning things around in my head. I don't have to keep focusing on the one bad thing. And I still struggle with that. That is still honestly my default, my reset position that when that happens and something triggers me, I'm like, that is it. That is my whole day. It is all ruined. It is all focused on that one thing. And I have to, I have to stop, I have to pray, I have to, to process, I have to turn it over to God, I have to let it go so that I can enjoy the rest of my day. And today when I was writing about seeing myself the way that God sees me, the only thing that was popping into my head was to be happy. Like God wants me to be happy today. I am allowed to be happy today. I don't have to let this one little thing that happened yesterday or two days ago or whatever it was, I don't have to let it ruin the rest of my day. I don't have to let it ruin the rest of my week. 
I can be happy in spite of things that are happening, in spite of what other people do, because I don't have any control over other people. I don't have any control what they do. All I have control over is how I choose to respond and whether or not I choose to let that be the focus of my day and give them my power, give them my happiness. And they don't even know that they're taking my power or my happiness <laughs> because they don't want it. They don't care. They don't even realize they've done something to offend me or that upsets me because I'm horrible at confrontation and I don't tell people that they've said or done things that bother me. So it's all on me and it's all on my reaction and how I choose to respond to these people. And if I need to set a boundary, I need to learn how to confront them and set a boundary and say, hey, this is not okay. And I can do that, but I don't have to let it take up the entire focus of my day or conversation with everyone that I have. I can just be happy because I'm having a good day today because things are going well for me today. You know, my sister called, I got to talk to her. I got to go to church today. I got to go visit some friends tonight. It's a good day. These are all good things that I am very grateful for, that I'm grateful that I can enjoy and focus on. And I can see these good things in my life. I can be happy and I don't have to wait for some magical event in the future to happen. I don't have to wait to be happy. I don't have to wait to be grateful. I don't have to wait for all of the little irritating things in life to go away or to get fixed. And I don't have to come up with solutions for everything. I don't have to spend my entire day trying to figure out how to fix everything that I think is wrong with my life because I have done that. And I have like planned in the future how this is all gonna work out, how it's all gonna get fixed, and it all falls apart. And it never works out the way that I want to. And then I'm devastated and upset and frustrated and confused and I'm like a gazillion different things. And then I have to start all over with my planning to how I'm going to fix my life. And maybe there isn't anything in my life that needs fixing. Maybe what needs to be fixed is my perspective. What needs to be fixed is my attitude. What I need to remember is that those are things outside of my control. That as long as I'm doing the best that I can do today, as long as I am focusing on what it is I feel like God wants me to do, and I'm focusing on the things that I'm grateful for, and I'm finding things to be happy for, I can be happy, and I can enjoy my day, and I can know that eventually my books will get published. Eventually, I will get people that can read and comment and do whatever and it'll be great but until that happens you know i just have to continue with what i'm doing in my life and i just baby steps and if i have to wait for other people i have to wait i have to be patient god has a timing and a structure for everything there's a reason for everything so if things have to be put on hold for a little bit they have to be put on hold for a little bit i mean i can write i can work on my my books and my other things, and that's okay. I have other things I can focus on while I wait. I can talk to people that I've sent my book out to to get responses, try to get responses back, but no guarantees, or I can send it out to other people, and then I still have to wait for other people to get back to me. So it's a process, but I know that that's a process, and I know I don't have control over the process. I'm just along for the ride, and I have the choice to enjoy the ride, to continue to learn and to grow from it, or to gripe and complain. And my past default reset button is to gripe and complain, to not see the beauty in what's going on, to not see the lessons that I'm learning, to not try to understand the process, <laughs> to just complain that I have to go through it. And honestly, I know there have been several days when I've made these videos when I have just wanted to complain or I have complained because I don't want to go through the process because sometimes this process really sucks. And it's really painful and it's really hard. Um, it's not always easy. It's not always peachy keen, whatever, but there's always a silver lining. There's always that rainbow that's coming out. There's always a blessing or something that I can be grateful for. Even if it's just that I haven't lost my faith, even if it's just that I am grateful I'm alive today, I'm grateful I can make my YouTube videos today. I am grateful that I know that God is there and that God is listening to me and that he cares even when I feel like I'm a mess and I'm bawling and crying my eyes out. God is there and he is listening. I am not alone in all of this. And that is the most comforting thing to me to know that I'm not alone, that there is someone listening because I didn't feel like the people in my life growing up were listening to me. And sometimes making these videos, I'm not sure. I know of like one or two people that are watching them, but um, not a lot of people are watching 
which sometimes I'm really grateful for and other times I'm kind of disappointed because I want lots of people because I want to feel like, I don't know, I want that acclamation, <laughs> that accolade, whatever. I want that recognition. But I know I don't need it because that's not why I'm doing these videos. I'm doing these to share what's going on with my life, to share my gratitude, to share my process, and hopefully to help other people that are struggling to see that there is a way out. There is hope. There is a way up. There is light. There is God in our lives. There is always something to be grateful for, always something to be happy about. And we have the choice what we're going to focus on. And... I'm grateful for that reminder that I can be happy today, that I can enjoy my life, that I don't have to beat myself up for the little things, that I don't have to give up everything or change overnight because I'm not going to change overnight. I just, my brain doesn't work that way. I didn't get into this mess. I didn't have all these bad habits overnight. That's, you know, default settings, things that I wasn't taught, things that I need to learn. Change is not easy. Change is hard that it can be good. It's a good thing. It's pointing me in a different direction. It's helping me be grateful for things. It's giving me patience with other people and situations. It's giving me opportunities to process my emotions and feelings and let them come up even though I don't like them, but then I can get rid of them and let them go so they don't have to keep haunting me the rest of my life, which I'm also grateful for. So it is difficult but I am grateful for the difficult times because they're helping me, shaping me into something better. I hope something better, something that feels better anyway. And I think just feeling better about myself makes me want to take better care of myself and encourages me to continue. And if nothing else, I will have this record, this history that I have been making for eventually 100 days. It's only 57 right now of days that I focused on gratitude. And I also have my journals that if nothing else, even if I don't go back and read them, because I can't read my handwriting most of the time anyway, at least I know that I'm writing them, that I'm processing things, that they have my life in there, that I have survived all of these things and not only survived, but I'm learning how to live and learning how to enjoy life and learning that I have every right to enjoy life and that I can have good things. And maybe that's why it's taking so long with the books and all of these things that I'm trying to do because it's harder to do it independently. And because I have to learn all of these things because I need to be confident enough in myself with whatever happens when I publish my books that I don't have to have that expectation that it's gonna be popular overnight or that if it does ever become popular, that it's not gonna to go to my head because <laughs> I don't need it to go to my head. I don't want to get to the point where I am so big that I forget about God or I forget about the people that got me to where I'm at in my life. And I think I've been through enough things in my life that I won't let that happen again. I hope I don't let that happen again because I don't want to lose sight of that. I don't want to lose sight of the things that I'm grateful for. And I want to be able to be happy in my life. And I want to be able to share this joy with other people. So I hope that this is helping people watching these, that you can find joy, that you can find gratitude, that you can find God or a higher power, whatever you believe in, in your life to realize that things aren't as bad as you think they are. They're not as bleak, that there is a way up, there is a way out, there is a way through, that you have gifts and talents and things that you can use to bless your life and bless the lives of others as you develop those talents. And that we're all here for a purpose and it's to help each other to get through this life because it's not easy and it's not meant to be easy because otherwise we wouldn't get shaped, we wouldn't develop, we wouldn't learn. We learn through our trials, we learn through our mistakes and our struggles. And this is something that I've heard my entire life, but it's taken all of this that's happened to me and focusing on gratitude to have a different perspective, to see my growth, to see my own learning in things. Um, and to realize that it's okay for me to make mistakes, that I don't have to be afraid of making mistakes, that it's okay for my stuff not to be perfect, because I think another reason I'm not published right now is because I want everything to be perfect. <laughs> I don't want it to not be perfect. I don't want to put it out there in its imperfect, unedited, on whatever stage. I want it to be pristine and perfect, and it will probably never be exactly the way I pictured in my mind as perfect or perfection, but at some point, I think it will be good enough. It will be where I can feel confident and comfortable publishing it, which is why I'm waiting maybe impatiently for people to respond back to me so that I can fix my book 
to make sure that it flows so that uh, people understand it and can read it. And someone will edit it before I publish it because I know I'm not perfect in that either. And there may still be some mistakes in it, but hopefully there are minor little itty bitty ones that don't irritate people too horribly much. <laughs> and um, I'm just grateful for that. And I'm grateful for the people that are willing to help me because I don't have any money to pay them to do this. So it is in their own personal time which is another reason I need to be patient because they're taking their personal time away from whatever else they're doing to help me. And I appreciate that help. I really do. I'm grateful for it because I need to learn to become better and I can't do that on my own. And I'm grateful for that reminder again. I'm grateful that I can be happy and find other things to do in the process. And so things are, are good. And they're probably better than I realize. And I just stress about things and I try to plan everything because I have a hard time just accepting that everything is okay. Because a lot of times things haven't been okay or I don't feel okay and it's past emotions that are driving me crazy. And I focus on those and I focus on the bad and I focus on the little thing that irritates me. And I forget to see all the good things that are happening. I forget to see the other stuff and I get dragged into that stuff that irritates me so easily. I can have conversations with other people and we just go back and forth and it. And I just feel like it gets bigger and bigger and I get more and more irritated. And it's like, whoa, time out, slow down. It doesn't have to have that kind of power. It doesn't have to have that kind of control. I don't have to let that take over my whole day because it's okay. Everything else will be okay. Everything else works out okay. There's so many other things to be grateful for that that one thing doesn't have to take control. And I am grateful that I'm learning that, that I'm seeing that, that I can be happy today, that I can be grateful for what I have today, that I can just enjoy my day and that I'm allowed to just enjoy my day. I don't have to find something to be miserable about. I don't have to find something to avoid. I don't have to find something to focus on. I don't have to nitpick myself. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to be perfect overnight. I'm not going to change overnight. I just need to fix one thing at a time. And right now I'm fixing my attitude. I'm changing my focus and I'm changing my responses to things. And it's, it's interesting watching myself make those changes. And it's not always easy. And sometimes I make those better responses or nicer responses. And I'm like, crap, why am I being nice? I don't feel nice. What the heck? And then I have to process it and figure it out and realize that that was a better response. And it's better for me to respond that way. And God knows that. And he's always kind and gentle and loving in his responses to me. Even in the course corrections that he's giving me, he's always loving and kind. And I need to be that way. And I'm not really sure that I entirely know how to do that, especially when I'm frustrated with people or situations. So much for me to learn and how I respond. But if nothing else, at least I'm not expressing anger and frustration that's triggered from the past and taking it out onto other people. So that's a start. Baby steps, progress, not perfection. One day at a time, all things, you know, that I've learned over life and through 12 step programs and things. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for the people that are watching. And I hope that this is helping. And if it is, you can like, subscribe, share with anyone else you think this might benefit. And thank you for your time. And I hope you have a day full of gratitude.